Hey everyone, it's Chantel. Um, today I'm doing my uh, five month update and um, I'm a little late doing it, um, but I'm doing it today and um, I have a few other things on my mind that I wanted to talk about as well. So um, basically um, I'm at five months um, post-op and I've lost another I th believe eight pounds. So I am at 65 pounds down at this point. So um, didn't think I would lose as much as what I've lost this past month um, um, because I had kind of stopped exercising um, as vigorously as I was before um, with the Couch to 5K program. I had to lay off of that. Um, but I did continue walking, so, um, so that's been good. Um, I'm not really actively trying to lose weight right now. The foods that I can eat, um, I've noticed in the last few weeks that I've not been able to eat as much all of a sudden, and I don't know if that's just, um, stress because I've kind of been going through um, some stress, just work, normal things, but, um, um, another thing that I've noticed is, um, my alcohol tolerance, which I've never had an intolerance to it, but, um, that I found is, is a little bit less, and, and, and I don't know if that's because I'm not eating as much, but, um, I did kind of find that, you know, it was, it was sort of irritating me. And I'll say that as I take a sip of my adult beverage. Okay. Didn't mean to make that sound. Um, so the exercise um, and um, the other thing is uh, something that I wanted to talk about was that I've been having this issue with... Um, fake friends. And I've talked about this in some of my other videos um, in terms of body image and when you lose weight and, and that type of thing. And I've had some instances recently where um, people sort of pretend to be your friends, pretend to um, be a part of your life, but they're not really all about being a part of your life. They're a part, they're about themselves. And these type of people um, that I've recently uh, come in contact, contact with and had to deal with, or really, and, and it's really been bothering me. So I guess I just needed to kind of talk about it a little bit. But, um, I guess because I've really been very sensitive to things lately. And as we all do when we lose weight, we notice things. We are maybe a little bit more sensitive to what's, what's going on in our lives because we're changing so much. And one of the things about change is that if you're going to accept it, then you have to sort of roll with it. And weight loss surgery is all about change. You know, that's why we, we did it in the first place. Um, so I've dealt with people's change in attitude towards me. I've dealt with people's change in how they speak to me. Um, for instance, the other day I was in, I was in uh, a retail store. I was shopping. And one of the things that I've noticed a lot lately is that people are nicer to me. Now, I'm a nice person in general. I'm very polite. I'm very nice. I'm very easy to get along with, very easygoing. And when I normally, when I, when I shop or when I go out to eat or, or whatever I do, I always notice things like that because I worked in retail before and I, and, and I know how it is, um, to be rude, to, to be rude, you know, for someone to be rude to you. Um, so I always try to keep that in mind. 
Um, so I'm always super nice. And what I've noticed lately is that people will go out of their way for me. And for instance, the other night I was at a bar and there were several bars where I, where I was in the place that I was and I wanted a special kind of um, alcohol. And the bartender was just like, well, we only have one shot left. You know, let me just go to the other bar and get you a bottle. And I was like, no, I, you know, don't worry about it. Just, you know, substitute it or whatever. And this woman went out of her way to go to this other bar and get this, this bottle of alcohol that I wanted to mix in my drink. And, I mean, I, she was just nice. She was nice like that, and that's okay. But I, I guess I noticed it because I felt like, it was odd that, you know, that it was something that she did super nice. And I hate that I even feel that she's, that people are being nice to me because of my weight. But do you guys get the same feeling sometimes? I felt like I went from invisible to visible all of a sudden. And I thanked her and I was very, you know, nice and polite. And so was she. But... That's not the first time that, that I've noticed things like that, something similar to that. And um, superficial friends or people that you meet every day, um, that, those people, you know, me personally, I'm nice to everyone. You know, because I, I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't want to be, someone to be rude to me. So I'm not going to be rude to anyone else. That's just, that's just how I am. If you know me, then you know that I'm a very nice person. But it's, to me, upsetting at times because I feel like these same people, a lot of these same people or these same places that I go to now, you know, want to give me better service. You know, and I think that it has a lot to do with my weight. You know, and maybe I'm, maybe I'm way off base there, but, and I hate thinking that, you know, because, you know, because maybe I just based, you know, I know I based myself and who I was on my weight, you know, and I hate that about myself, but you know, everyone does it, you know. So, um, I guess that's kind of a little rant and I kind of got off on that and, and, uh, I really kind of didn't mean to, to take it that far, but um, if anyone else has experienced a similar situation, I would love to hear about it. And um, But other than that, um, that's my update for five months. Um, I can't think of anything else because I went on this little tangent, but if um, I have anything else to add, I'll, you know, I'll do another video. And um, I have a few other products for those of you who are sort of interested in my... Um, product video that I did last time. I have a few other things that I found, um, skincare wise that I recently found that I really, really like. And one is a foundation. So, um, I'm going to do a video, um, or I might just throw that into one of my other videos at another time that I do. So, um, that's really it. If anyone has any comments or questions, please feel free to, uh, email me or comment. I love to hear everybody. And, um, guys have a great night and sorry I went on this big tangent about this but um, kind of been bothering me and um, I know a lot of people may you know also deal with the same issues so if you guys have any questions comments again just give me an email shoot me a, a comment we'll see you guys later stay tuned bye